Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to the video. This is Fisher Blog number 178. And I'm back from my holidays. It's time to, well, get my mess of a fish room back in order. And one of the things I mentioned uh, before I left for my holidays is what it did is cut back on an awful lot of the fish population in my aquariums just so that there's you know, less chance of things going wrong. And one of the things I did in this tank is I removed uh, the other pair of Curbenzis. And, well, I guess because there's less competition now, they decided to breed, and that's kind of cool. As I have a few more Curbenzis, no idea what I'm going to do with them, but, uh, well, anyway, it's always nice to have fry in the fish room. And as you can see, my fish room is a mess. Well, between two weeks of holiday and the two weeks lead up trying to get all my work done and so I can have time for holiday, uh, the fish room got neglected for about a month. And as you can see, duckweed is rampant. Uh, it's my bane for sure. And, well, basically in general, it just needs to uh, be thoroughly cleaned. One of the things that happened while I was away, this thing grew so well that it, it uh, toppled over and it's now sending out new shoots, which is great. But as you can see on the left-hand side, uh, the onions have died because, well, they didn't get anywhere near as much watering while I was away. The other plant was perfectly fine, of course, and I really do like it. It's one I, I actually want anyway. It is an herb that you can put into uh, you know dishes and stuff like that. So I'm going to be testing that out and seeing what that tastes like. So. I'm glad that's the one that survived because the, well, the onions are onions and they're very, very cheap to get a hold of. I also wasn't entirely sure that they were going to work out anyway, so uh, that's perfectly fine. So, to do, the majority of what I need to do is very straightforward. I mean, all I need to do is turn these pipes down like this and let the water drain down into, uh, well, there's a overflow system that you see there. and. Once it's down, turn the types, pipes back up and then uh, fill up the aquariums. It's very easy to do and doesn't take any time at all. The hard part is dealing with all the plants. Uh, well, duckweed is the worst. Getting rid of uh, the excess growth of hornwort is not a problem. I just pull it out like this and then just snip off, as you can see here, uh, the pieces that I want. Uh, throw the rest of it out. I mean, I do throw out a ton of hornwort every couple of months. It's uh, a very fast-growing plant. I really do like it. And it is actually, even though I'm going to complain an awful lot about duckweed during this video, uh, it is easier to get the duckweed out of it than relative to getting the duckweed out of uh, other surface plants. Uh, so I actually am much happier with that. Now I'm going to take this over to the tank behind me. And what I'm doing there is uh, I have two large African cichlid tanks there. And they uh, love eating duckweed, which is one of the few things that I actually like about duckweed. It gives them a supplement to their diet, and it's actually really quite healthy and good for them. That is probably the only thing that I really care about duckweed for. Uh, it, like I said, it is good for certain fish that like to eat it. And this particular tank wasn't too bad for it, but the one to uh, the left of this is a bit worse. And then, of course, it just gets worse as we head towards the left. Uh, it's, like I said, it's just one of those things that ends up consuming so much of my time when it comes to cleaning. There isn't a whole lot that needs to be done uh, in general for my tanks because uh, they're all relatively easy to maintain, mostly just water changes, and as you can see, the water changes are really straightforward. It's just a simple matter of turning pipes down and filling them up afterwards, so that takes maybe... I can change all, you know, 30 odd tanks in my fish room, I'll do all their water changes in like five minutes, so it, it doesn't take long at all. This though, is not so bad, except when it comes to that one plant. Now, if I were to estimate how much time I spent uh, total for just these two tanks, uh, we'll say probably about 20 minutes to clean these two tanks, uh, majority on this particular one here, and of that, the majority of time I spent was trying to fish out duckweed. I mean, this doesn't take long at all. Maybe five minutes on all the other types of plants. The rest of it was all doing this. Going along, skimming out uh, little bits of duckweed that are floating, and pouring them through a net, making sure I don't catch too many guppies, because uh, one thing about guppies, uh, it's, they're very curious, and they tend to uh, get scooped up very easily because they're hoping to get fed. So yeah, I had to go through and do all that. I have a fair amount of Valicinaria in there here as well, and Subwasser Tang. I pruned back the Subwasser Tang because it was getting a little excessive. 
Uh, it is not as fast growing as a lot of the other plants, but in time it does uh, tend to accumulate and I thought it was time to get rid of a bunch of it. Now that filter you see on the right, that's the cheap uh, one I made, the one that only required one tool, uh, no lathe, no nothing else. I just uh, slapped it together. Anyone can uh, put that together with, uh, like I said, a little bit of acrylic and, well, a table saw how it really does help, uh, but any other method of cutting the acrylic as well. Uh, it's fine. I don't really have anything against it. It's just not as good as the other ones I've put together, so it is going to be replaced. Now, if you remember, I started building four filters. I still haven't finished those, of course, because I got really busy with work. Uh, but once they're done, I am going to uh, take that filter. That's the reason why I haven't cleaned that filter. It's going to get replaced. I'm going to put that other style in. I'm going to show you how all that works, and hopefully we'll see in the long term how that particular... Uh, filter style does relative to these ones. Uh, that is just a sponge. Just a coarse open pour sponge I put in the back of some of my tanks. Uh, mostly as a home for uh, Grammaris, uh, Scuds. So what I do is I just leave it in the back and they can hide in there and reproduce and when they're, you know, brave or stupid enough to stick their heads out, uh, they provide a snack for the fish, which is really nice. So what I do every now and then is I uh, will pull the sponge out just to check how the population is doing. So what I'll do here is just put a bunch of water in here and then squeeze up the sponge and see who or whatever is in there. There are other microorganisms as well. Uh, there are lots of copepods like cyclopses and that sort of thing is too. And like I said, I like to keep an eye and make sure my population is healthy. And this one actually is not up to par. Uh, sometimes that happens in a tank uh, just they just don't thrive well enough and fortunately for me it's spring now so I'll be able to get more if I want or just of course take them out of one of the other tanks so I cleaned this filter I uh, didn't need it uh, but like I said it's been a month of not so much neglect but just doing water changes and it needs to, like to, it needs a revamping everywhere so I'm going to prune back a lot of plants in the next couple of vlogs I will uh, show you the progress on that because I'm not going to get it all today because these are just two aquariums being cleaned and there's a lot more to go. So yeah, I'm going to set this all up, uh, get rid of some of the mullets in there, uh, clean the lids as you can see here, get them all uh, back up and running, and then move on to the, the next tank. And uh, again, I'm not going to show that to you. Uh, one other thing I want to say is I want to thank everyone very much for their patience with my little bit of a break and I definitely am planning to get back into doing lots of videos. I have a bunch of ideas, some live food things I want to do and uh, just lots of fish room things. So thanks again for, like I said, your patience and hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy what I do here and uh, again, uh, leave comments, let me know what you think about everything and I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.